It was 2 a.m. in Washington when the Senate finally voted. The fiscal cliff deadline had already passed. Technically, the draconian tax rises and spending cuts have already kicked in. Vote uh, the A's are 89, the nays are 8. 60 vote threshold having been achieved, the bill as amended is passed. It was an overwhelming vote in the end, the result of successful negotiations behind the scenes by Vice President Joe Biden to get an agreement to raise the taxes of the wealthiest. But it will be meaningless unless the House of Representatives also approves the deal. You surely shouldn't predict how the House is going to vote. But I feel very, very good. The long drawn out talks have simply produced another quick fix, deferring cutbacks in federal spending for two months. While his vice president was trying to smooth the way with Republicans, President Obama was doing the opposite. With negotiations delicately poised, his New Year's Eve speech angered Republicans by telling them that more tax increases would be needed in the months ahead. After the Senate vote, he issued a statement saying that while neither Democrats nor Republicans got everything they wanted, this agreement is the right thing to do for our country and the House should pass it without delay. Exactly yeah, when that vote will come has still to be decided. I wouldn't expect any votes until uh, we come back here to reconvene on the 3rd. <laughs> Which is, uh, let's see, let me I'll figure this out. It's day after tomorrow. And the arguments will go on for months to come. You've seen efforts to kick the can down the, down the road that President Obama referred to yesterday afternoon. Both sides are guilty of this. Uh, Democrats uh, don't want to reduce spending. Republicans don't want to increase taxes. Both sides ultimately are going to have to give way on this if we're going to see any attempt uh, to reduce that budget deficit any way uh, substantially. So 2013 begins in America with signs that economic Armageddon has been avoided. But as the new year was celebrated in New York as elsewhere, fundamental issues remain unsolved. For all its glitz and glamour, the United States continues to spend far more than it earns and is mired in debt. And political leaders still can't agree on a long-term plan. Ian Woods, Sky News.